Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you a method to tidy up your apps that is approved by Marie Kondo. I originally got this idea from an article that she posted on her Facebook and I will link it down below. I've had my phone like this for about four months now and I've really enjoyed it so I'm so excited to share this method with you. Step one is to discard. Hold down one of your apps until they all start jiggling. Ask yourself, how do I feel about it? Am I using it? Am I going to use it in the future? Focus on what you want to keep. If you'd like to, you can even thank the apps that you're going to discard. Don't worry if you aren't able to discard many apps, this method will still work for you. Step 2. Designate a space for each item. Research is showing that we live lives with too much information surrounding us. All this information is an external pressure. Having all the different apps and text covering the entire surface of your phone is overwhelming. The idea is to make your phone task-oriented, so you only go to use it when you have something specific to do, not when you're bored or when you're wondering what to do next. In order to achieve this, you have to hide all of your apps from vision by putting them into a single folder and moving that folder to the second or third page, out of view. I do recommend that you choose three or four apps which can live at the bottom of your screen. These should be the most important tools that you use most frequently. As for the rest of your apps on your phone, you should now only access them by swiping down and using the search function. Just swipe down and type the first letter of the app that you'd like to use and it should come up. You should never access your apps from that folder again. If you open that folder, you will see all the apps at once, which could be overwhelming and would defeat the purpose of trying to minimize the visual inputs to your mind. By using the search function, you'll only use apps when you need them. Try to be intentional about it. After a few months, you can scroll through and see which apps you completely forgot about and decide if you'd like to remove them or not. Step 3. Turn off the notifications. Of course, there are several different types of notifications. There's the ones that pop up on your home screen, there's the sounds, and there's also those little red circles with the numbers in them. For me, I only allow one message to come on my home screen for my messaging apps like WhatsApp, Kakao, Line, and iMessage. That's because this is the only way I can keep in touch with family and friends overseas, so I want to know when they've messaged me, especially if it's time sensitive. But I don't have red badges for anything, and all my other notifications are turned off, especially my email. For the apps that you do allow notifications, make sure that you turn off the badge app icon. Christopher Mims, who writes for the Wall Street Journal, explains that those red dots are maddening from a behavioral perspective. You can shut them off like this. Go to Settings, click Notifications, and flip Allow Notifications to the Off position. Step 4. Choose a background that brings you joy. For me, I found this picture to be very calming but you could also put a picture of any person, place, or thing that brings you joy. If you're looking to redefine your relationship with your smartphone, I would definitely give this a try. You may find that you're able to stay more present in the current moment. When you see your phone as a tool, I found it doesn't have the same power over you anymore. The less time wasted on your phone, the more free time you have to spend on things that bring you joy. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone. I've been living in Japan now for about two months, so that means it's time to do a house tour.